everyone, this is Mens here, playing the new British Tier 10 Tank Destroyer, the FV-405 Stage 2 Tank Destroyer. Now, this was released in the World of Tanks 9.5 update. You can find a link to the 9.5 patch notes on the official Wargaming website in the video description below. It'll be the first link if you're interested. However, this tank, as you see, very tall. The mouse only reaches up to here in height, so this is taller than a mouse, which is currently the tallest tank in the game, as far as I know. So it's very hard to hide this tank because it's very, very, very large. And as you see, with that size, you get no armor for that. 14 millimeters on the turret, <laughs> which is basically the size of some tanks. And the whole, not so much armor either, so anything's gonna pretty much penetrate you and shooting HE rounds at this thing is a very good choice if you're facing this but please don't shoot them if I'm playing this tank please so this tank equips the 183 millimeter L4 gun which is also found on FV 215B 183 millimeter they have the same rate of fire same penetration same damage however the FV-405 Stage 2 has better gun accuracy and a better aiming time, which helps out a lot because it allows it to actually use its firepower. And while its stats still aren't great, they're good enough to where I find it pretty easy to hit most of my shots, except for at long range and small moving targets. So with this tank, it is pretty mobile. It's slower than the previous tanks because it does have a weaker engine and a lower top speed. Conway has a similar top speed but it has a much stronger engine. So while this tank isn't as fast as the previous tank destroyers that come before it, it's still pretty mobile for its size which is very nice and it has the mobility slash firepower combo which is very deadly but kind of hard to master especially with a tank this big. Now you only have five degrees of gun depression. Most of the tank destroyers on this line only have five, five degrees 5 degrees, 5 degrees, 10, 5, 7. So this tank destroyer line isn't really known for good gun depression aside from the Challenger. So since you are very tall with very poor gun depression, small tanks can actually hide right next to you and they can't be hit. So even if you have a Hesh round loaded, you can try to hit them, but you'll splash yourself and since your armor is very thin, you're going to kill yourself in the process. So I'm going to hop into a battle here. Something else you have to kind of keep in mind is you only have 1,850 hit points, which is very low for a tier 10, and for tank destroyers, pretty much the lowest. So you're going to be very frail compared to all other tier 10s, and all these tanks that were released in 9.5 play like a secondary line tank where you want to prevent being shot and seen, however you still want to be close enough to use your gun. So I'm going to be, this is also a new map introduced with 9.5, Winter Ruinberg. I almost said Winterberg, so, but you can also call it that if you want. Now I'm going to be heading into the city so I can hide around corners to cover my somewhat long reload. Okay, let's see get some people with me to cover. I just want somebody at least near me that is able to stay with me to cover this long reload. that 183 millimeter there. I want to move into the road ahead of me. However, I don't have any armor. If those mediums start shooting at me, I'm going to take some damage. Now, we both didn't penetrate him, but he definitely felt that. Which you should know that 
even if these things don't penetrate you, they're gonna hurt. There's another shot, take off some more of his HP. I'm not penning him, and I do have a low ammo count, however, it's well worth it to take a tier 10 tank out. Be concerned about the enemies over here. I don't want them to actually hit me. So I'm going to kind of angle in a way where I can pull up ahead to. Uh, never mind, this E100 to my way. I want to pull up ahead to be able to hide. I'm just going to stay back here. Yes, I know that there's an E100 there right in front of him, but I want to cover him just in case. Sorry, dude, which I'm taking damage to. I really want to hit this 183, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Oop, sorry. Wasn't paying attention there either. Okay, let's reevaluate. Can't exactly get in a good position there. So, I'm gonna move over this away. Oh, oh shit. Didn't see him in either. So, we're pretty much stuck here for now. Doing a pretty good job at getting these guys down. Crap. Here we go. Reach through his turret roof. I'm loading AP because I like using AP against E100s instead of Hesh. Especially if I'm going to be shooting their side armor. See if I can't pop out here. Don't want him to shoot me, so I'm actually gonna wait for him to aim at somebody else. Here we go. He's out. Kinda wish I had a hash round for the C100 TD. Yeah, oh well, I waited too long to do any damage, but I'm still alive! And I'll take that. And he's out of there. So overall, this tank's very good at dishing out damage. However, you really have to prevent being shot because you can be chewed apart very quickly by pretty much anything. Blue little SPG. There's an ammo rack, and his turret is kind of still on there. So, <laughs> I'll take it though, as long as if I get a kill. There we go, finally load it. So, pretty decent match. Did 2,556 damage, 2 kills, decent amount of experience, second on my team. As far as modules go, as you see there's that VK. I took out his lower loader, hurt his turret, turret, ammo rack for the bat chat. And I lost a pretty good amount of credits because with Hess rounds for either this tank or the other TD, you need to penetrate and do full damage for them to pay off. And in this case, I was shooting them at that VK, and while I wasn't killing him by penetrating, I was crippling him, which 
was my goal, but you will lose credits on these tanks with Hess rounds if you miss or don't do full damage. And the only reason why I use a lot of Hess rounds, A, you have a low ammo count, and B, the AP shells, even though they do a ton of damage per shot, you only have two rounds per minute, so your actual DPM values are fairly low for a tier 10 tank destroyer. So while you do a while you do do a lot of damage per shot, it's not actually worth it in my opinion. I'd rather have a different TD. So that's why I think Hesh shells are the better option. Yes, they're expensive, but it makes the tank viable. With AP shells against certain opponents with a lot of space armor, like an E100, it's useful and can be better in a Hesh shell, but this tank does need Hesh shells in my opinion. So I'm actually kind of tempted to go up the hill because I am very quick. We'll see if the T-57 actually goes up there. Let's go. Okay, he is going up there. That's kind of surprising. At least it looks like he's going up there. Oh god, and the frickin' IS-7, Waffle Trager, the E-4. So this is going to be kind of ugly, really quickly. It's funny how many people ask me, oh, why can't I see your stats? You're hidden. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I can't see whoever just spotted me. Hopefully I get by here. I may not make it. Okay. I am happy. Maybe this N48 will make a mistake and pop over to the other side while he still spot it. Here's that AMX 50B. Hit him, track him, I'm happy. Would have been nice if I penned him. However, damage is damage. Now, if he can take out that wall there, that'll help. If there's his T57, I'm gonna be able to get a shot on him. Wait for him to pop back out. He's gonna have no choice but to back out, which I should have had AP load it. I would have been able to kill him had I penned him. Couple more seconds. Pull out there with five seconds. I might take a shot. However, I should be able to get a hit on return. Crap, 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 crap. There we go. Gotcha. Okay, so we're doing all right on this side. I'm gonna move up with this STV one. Maybe I'm not going to move up just yet. He's not able to shoot over that little berm. But, okay. Watch out there. Don't want to hit you. I do know I can hit that IS-7. Never mind. So I'd say I can hit that IS-7. However, now I can't. This Waffle Trigger, keep going, keep going, dude. There we go, and you're gone! So this tank, lots of firepower. You need to know the right areas to set up with to actually use that firepower. There's this E100 over here. I thought I might have had a shot on him, but he moved out from here. I want him to actually follow him. Take that shot, now I'm going to focus back on the left side. I 
actually going to swap the AP shells now. He's tracked. Hold on. <laughs> Betcha he wasn't expecting that. Holy shit, that E100 is still alive? I am genuinely shocked here. shell, which kind of sucks. Okay. Did he see me? I think he saw me with how his turret moved. Definitely saw me now. So I'm actually going to move up to some with my friends. Get behind here. Up. They're gonna get this T62A. I'm gonna get this fellow. Oh, fuck me. Oh, how did I bounce off of him? <laughs> I probably should have aimed a little bit more, but I forgot I had an AP shell. That is very, very lucky for that guy, and very, very embarrassing for me, because the bounce off that tank, he actually has less armor than I do in some areas, which is saying a lot. Not sure. Eh, he's dead. I was about to say, not sure I can actually get over there by the time he's dead. Would have been nice if I killed that E100 TD. However, what can you do? Uh, I can't believe I did not do damage to him. So, overall, a pretty good match. Mystery badge, second class. Damage-wise, I did the most amount in the match, 5,039. Three destroyed tanks. Experience-wise, got second place at T62A. Did a really good job. But this tank, very good firepower, as long as if you stay alive. Spotted for 986 damage, too. So a little bit counts. And I eked out a little bit of a profit here, even while using Hess shells, because I did use an AP shell or two, which... As long as if you hit with your head shells and do a bit of damage, usually 1k around average damage with head shells, you'll break even or turn a profit if you mix in an AP shell or two. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. As I said earlier, you can find a full list of 9.5 notes in the video description. Overall, I think this tank and the tank line in general is pretty awesome. Very easy to grind since there's not a ton of guns to grind for. A lot of the tanks use the same guns, or even like the Conway only has one gun option to use. Now, you will have to grind experience one way or another. Same amount of experience for every tank line, just whether it's a module or unlocking the actual tank. In this case, unlocking new tanks is more expensive than other lines because there's less modules to unlock. But anyway, I think this line's a very good line, and it's well worth getting, as unless if you're a new player, because it can be difficult with the lack of armor and gun depression. But overall, these tanks are very fun, and the FV4005 Stage 2 is a blast to play with its gun on a mobile chassis. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and check out my website, wotguru.com.